Hello, it's Lindsay Elliott from lindsayelliott.co.uk, wellbeing coach. Um, good afternoon. Um, so today I wanted to um, talk about what if thinking. Because this is um, a flavour of thinking that we all experience, you know. At some point in our lives, our mind jumps into the future and asks lots of what if questions. But what I have found um, in my own experience this week with um, all of the many sudden changes that are going on in our world with coronavirus, that the um, I had a couple of days of very intense, a lot of what if thinking. So I know that minds generally, no, not generally, all minds work in the same way. And probably also a lot of you might have been experiencing an increase in the degree to which your mind is going to what if thinking. Because, you know, minds, when there is a perceived threat, when there's a lot of change, when there is um, a lot of insecurity in the physical world, it's where a mind will go. A mind will go to the what ifs. It will jump into the future to try to scrabble around to feel safe. So I'm sure that like me, you may well have also had a lot more what if thinking. You know, what if we can't get food delivered? What if I get ill? What if my parents get ill? What if one of my children gets ill? What about if we all get ill together? What's gonna happen? What about if we need a hospital and they're full? Um, what about what if the children don't go back to school how am I going to cope what if I lose my job what if we can't pay our mortgage what about if there's a recession for years what if this is what life is going to be like forever and ever all of this has been going around my mind at times and I know it will have been going around your mind but what I also know and what has also really helped me is when I woke up to it so I got quite engrossed in it for a couple of days and I you know not all the time because minds can never actually fixate on one thing um, was to see that this thinking was going on and it you know brought with it feeling because you know we're always feeling our thinking so I spent a couple of really anxious days as I'm sure you have too but what it's really good to know is that this thinking doesn't have to be paid attention to. In fact, you can ignore this thinking. So any time that you get a lot of this sort of what if, what if thinking, it's not telling you about what is happening in your moment, to mo in your reality right now. It is your mind jumping ahead to all of the possible scenarios of it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, and your mind is trying to work out a way to what would I do in that situation and rather than keep on going down the road with your mind of the what if thinking you've actually got something much better within you that you can rely on and that is your wisdom that is the place within you that's always connected to the bigger energy of life that has seen you through every difficult circumstance in your life so far and will see you through every single difficult circumstance that you may face in your life to come. And this is true of every single human being on the planet. So you don't need to pay attention to the what if thinking, you can quietly ignore it, you can let it go, you can know that it's just an anxious mind doing what anxious minds do. And you can know that in the moment, your wisdom will tell you exactly how much food you need to buy to last you for the next week, where you might be able to go to get more food if you're running out. It will know what you need to do when you're sick, if you get sick. It will know that you need to rest. It will know if you need to ask for help with your children. It will know when you need to go to hospital, if you need to go to hospital at all. Your wisdom will know what to do if you lose your job. Your wisdom will know what to do if you can't pay your mortgage. And it will know what to do if there's a recession. Because wisdom is in the moment. So your wisdom doesn't tell you about next week. It doesn't tell you about next year. It doesn't tell you about next month. But you can rely on your wisdom being here in this very moment to answer whatever you are faced with. And if you take some time to reflect, I think you'll see that 
anything difficult that you have ever faced, sorry I'm getting a bit cold because I'm in the shade, um, your wisdom was there with you and it guided you in every moment when you weren't caught up in your busy head about things and it's okay to be there, You're, we're human, we're going to go there. But I want, what I would really like you to have a look within yourself is that you don't have to spend so much time up in that worried what if thinking that you can gently lay that aside and your wisdom will speak to you. You know, it's a bit like when we're actually faced with a real threat, say like we're just about to be run over by a car, our personal thinking, our mind will go blank and our body moves because that's the innate life force within us, that's the wisdom within us that keeps us safe. And that's exactly true that if you start to get unwell, if you lose your job, that innate life force, that wisdom will kick in when you need it and will be there to guide you. And the other thing that I just want to say about the what if thinking is obviously, and it's quite obvious, it really pulls us away from the present moment. Now, uh, I have a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends, a lot of people I speak to who in, you know, in ordinary, you know, pre-coronavirus life and even, even in coronavirus life, um, say that they would love to be more present. They would particularly love to be more present with their children, with the people that they love, with friends. They would just love to be more present. They'd like to be less up in their head and more present. It's a common experience for people that they know somewhere inside of them that being more present in their lives is a better place to be. And what I see at the moment is that what a gift this situation is of being able to slow down and to be present, to be more present. And the what if thinking is always just pulling us into some scary imagined future and taking us away from this very moment, which for the vast majority of us, our lives are still pretty much the same. We're still making the dinner, we're still doing our work maybe in a different location, we're still making the beds, we're still watching TV, you know, our children are still here to be loved and cherished and played with and, you know, to interact with. And if this time in our lives isn't a, one of the biggest invitations to be present, to be as present as we can be, to not get caught up in the machinations, the rumblings of what's going on up here, and to know that it's safe to let that go because we've got this inner guidance system and we can just be present here now, then I don't know when in, a, in another period of our lives we're ever going to get this opportunity again. So I would just really encourage you to see that in this moment, all is well. That you have everything you need in terms of guidance within you. And that when your mind starts what ifing, when you start feeling anxious and worried, it's okay just to turn away from that. Because there aren't any answers there. Our minds think there are answers there, but there isn't. More thinking about it is not going to help because you have the instant wisdom that you'll need in the moment to see you through anything. And yeah, just see where you can, you know, slowly start to be more present to what is in front of you. Because in reality, we don't ever know. We don't, the future is an illusion. The past is an illusion. It's not real anymore. We only ever actually have this moment. We just believe that we have the future and we believe that we, can do something about the past and we can't. We can only ever have this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment. So it was lovely to be here with you today. I hope you've also got some sunshine and I will record some kind of video next week as well. So take care and be well and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye bye.